Hi, it's Paul Browning from HowToNetwork.net. Welcome to the 110th HowToNetwork.net tip of the week. The best way to get these tips is if you come to HowToNetwork.net and if you click on the tip of the week, pop in your first name and your email because I only cover a brief summary of, of the tips on the video part. So uh, you get all the links and all the access to all the other goodies if you, um, if you get the email tip. So one of the first things I'd like to talk about is troubleshooting in the Cisco exam. This is the part that tends to catch a lot of people out. They get faced with a diagram um, of a network that isn't working and basically you have to fix a problem. You have to diagnose a problem and then fix them. And what I find is a lot of people get stuck. They don't have a, a methodology, they don't have a plan. They're randomly pinging parts of the network and doing various show commands but not actually sure what they're looking for. So I've had a video on the site, it's normally been available only to members, but if you come to howtonetwork.net and uh, to departments and then if you click on free stuff, there's a video here called um, troubleshooting EIGRP video and if you click on that it will, um, it will stream a video for you that covers the methodology I recommend you use to troubleshoot the problems in the Cisco exam. And um, I think that would be a big help to you. Basically I use a three layer, the, the OSI layer, three or four layers of that and uh, once you've got a plan you can find you can actually diagnose the problems quickly and fix them and that gives you more time to answer all the other questions in the exam. Okay, um, so for members of the site, if you're currently a Platinum member, if you're not a member, if you come to the on the left here it's got the Join Today page and the membership info, it tells you how it all how all of that works. Click in the member area though, once you're logged in, there's a platinum page here for platinum members and there's a couple of things I wanted to point out. I've added um, some extra exams here today for CCNA and CCENT. One of the most important ones is DNS, NAT and DHCP. You're going to get drilled in the Cisco exams, CCNA and CCENT, about these areas. You could have hands-on labs. Um, otherwise you're going to get asked a lot of theory about NAT and DNS and DHCP and you really do need to know it. So this exam will really help you. And the next one is, it's a second switching style or switching focus exam I've put together. The first one is on switching iOS commands. This one is on spanning tree, VTP, VLANs and wrapping spanning tree and all the other things I think you need to know about to get through the exam. So I think you'll find that exam very useful. All you need to do is click on it and then it should play in your in your window. Just give it a few seconds to start up. And there you go. Okay, the other thing I want to do talk about briefly is um, it's all well and good learning the theory, but um, there's a couple of things that I find a lot of students struggle with. And the first one is motivation. I've put together a motivational worksheet. first cup of coffee of the day. Oh, nectar of the gods. We're in a very professional operation here obviously. So I was talking about motivation. I see a lot of students, they start off studying for a Cisco exam with all the best intentions and then I hear from them maybe a year or two years later or sometimes even longer and they're still studying for the same exam and they tell me they got sidetracked or things have cropped up in their life. So I think it's time to tackle this issue head on and I've put together a motivational worksheet. It's a series of questions and exercises for you to go through. I'll do an introductory video to, to talk about um, s some of the areas and, and what you're going to get out of it. And then you go down to the download link just underneath and you can click on the motivational guide. So you should listen to this guy by the way, he knows what he's talking about. The other thing which is equally as important is once you're motivated is setting goals. 
Uh, it may sound daft and a lot of people, well most people don't set goals, those who do don't seem to do it in the most efficient way to really get uh, good results. So I've put together a goal setting guide. This is a series of questions to really get you thinking about what you want, get you focused on what you want, remove any distractions and also deal with things, um, problems or issues or life's challenges as they come up. So um, I've read loads and loads of books on goals and used all this stuff to start my own company, pass Cisco exams, buy a house, lose weight, and all, all, the, all the other things basically. So the principles you can apply to your, your Cisco exams as well. There's a, a challenge I've put up. If you come to the CCNA security, I'm putting up a thousand dollars for somebody if they can pass their Cisco CCNA security before the end of the year. Just uh, come to this page here and you can read what the prizes are and how to enter and there's an entry form if you click on that. I'd also say, uh, I'd like to say congratulations to uh, a member who's passed his ECNA. We've got the I Pass My Exam Forum and there's a guy called Shivan who studied really hard. He didn't get through first time but basically he's put together some advice on how he got through the exam, the resources he used and a little tip for the real exam as well. So uh, I recommend you read what he's got to say. If you get this tip of the week via email, then um, I've actually put down a small snippet of what he said. There's an, another thing that I'm going to cover every week now. It doesn't sound exciting, but it's really important. I've got some Cisco iOS commands uh, via the home page, if you come to that. And basically, I'm going to cover a command every week. Um, not in any particular order of importance, but one of the earliest ones that comes up when I teach Cisco courses is the logging synchronous command. If you haven't heard of it, basically when you log into a router using the console ports, as you're typing things, normally what you're typing gets interrupted by console output and it'll tell you interfaces are up or down or there's um, a, route, a new uh, route being added with OSPF. You don't normally want um, output to interrupt you as you type in. It's better to have it show when you finish typing. So if you go into line console zero and type the logging synchronous command which is here and I show you an example here then it'll make life a lot easier for you. And I know in the CCIE exam I know most of the guys actually put this in before they set, before they even start configuring stuff. There's a, there's a few commands they put in. Alright via the home page there's a couple of articles which uh, I'd like to draw your attention to. If you come all the way down, you can either click on featured articles or if you're reading this article fairly soon after I've posted the video, go all the way down to featured articles. I cover the fastest way to pass your CCNA. There's another article which I hope you enjoy. It's called Would You Sell Your TV for $1 million? Basically, this is addressing people who email me sometimes and say they can't afford to buy a book. Or they can't afford to any materials to educate themselves or sometimes they've started and they're quitting. Well I basically explain what, what's in it for you when you pass the exams I get you to look at that sort of thing and I tell a little bit about my story about what happened for me after I passed my first Cisco exam, how I got into freelancing and then how I built my own IT company. And if you haven't already heard, which I'm sure you have by now, Cisco have got some new CCMP exams coming out next year, uh, routing, switching and troubleshooting only. So talk about that and hopefully we'll be the first, if not one of the first sites to have all of the new content. Alright, so I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Please rate it if you've enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you next time. All the best.